when Postman announced that the Scratchpad feature will be discontinued. I decided to use API debugging extensions directly in my VS code, so I started using Thunder Client. And uh, it was good, but recently Thunder Client have gone and done the usually crappy thing of paywalling features that were previously available free. You now have to pay them a monthly subscription to save a JSON file to your own file system. I have no problem with developers making money, but charging money for features that cost nothing to them is a bit greedy. Therefore, I am looking for a new extension. And after some digging on Reddit and Medium like platforms, I had three options Eco API, Insomnia, REST Client. I have compared these three for every aspect, and after that, I have decided to go with the extension of Echo API. Why? I will tell you this in a few seconds. One thing I like about Echo API, not just as a tool, but as a company, is the commitment that whatever is free now will remain free forever. Unlike Insomnia, Echo API keeps everything inside VS Code, avoiding the need to switch tools. And the REST client has a big learning curve, so I have decided to go with Echo API. The starter plan, which is a free one, allows collaboration with up to eight members, but I only needed one member space because I am all alone in my life. Um, it also supports the creation of up to 10 projects within the team. This is a great feature for collaboration and team productivity. But I was amazed that they are providing unlimited mock requests, unlimited API recovery, and unlimited requests. And they are making a promise to keep this unlimited for lifetime. And this is included in the free tier, so you don't have to pay anything. Also, this has Scratchpad support available and fully compatible with Postman scripts. Paid services are also impressive, but I want you to explore the free services because it has everything. They have an AI for parsing documentation in their client, but their AI is a bit slow. I had to wait over 15 seconds for the results to come up. Also, they update quite frequently, and although there are no major issues at the moment, I hope they can avoid introducing bugs or compatibility issues with older versions in future updates. I have also experienced Insomnia as well. It has a few good features as well, so it is also a good option to consider if you want to check out.